Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Teresa Crawley. Today I'm really excited to show you one of my favorite units here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. This is a Winnebago Navion, and my favorite floor plan of all time that we cannot keep in stock. And we happen to have one available right now. It's the Navion 24D. This is a 2021, and I'm so excited to show you all the options and features that we've added here. If you'd like more specifications, please let me know, and I'm happy to get those to you. Um, I'm sitting here on the couch, which also is disguised as a bed. Um, this is just one of the best things about this because as you can see, we've got so much living space in here when the slide is open. Um, this here is a slide and I'll show you a little bit more about that later. But right now I want you to see how this couch works. So first thing is that it's facing the TV here. So you have lots of room to watch your TV. Um, but also they didn't waste any space here. Underneath the sofa, you just flip this up really easily. It's not heavy. Um, and there's some storage space there that you could put your pots and pans or things like that, blankets, anything else. The other thing I love about this is that this is a Murphy bed, but there are other brands that have Murphy, Murphy beds, but every day and night you have to put away your bedding and make sure your pillow's in the right spot etc. This one drops down and drops up and you don't have to mess with anything. You just put it down. So I'm going to show you how that works. It's electric. The button's here in the bathroom. And it just goes down. Now if I had sheets and bedding, it would just be here ready to go. And then back here, you've got reading lights for both people sleeping and storage above your bed. So lots of room for anything that you need up there extra bedding or books, whatever you do. And then on both sides, we have um, USB and plugins. Now on one side here, you have a window that opens so you can get a cross breeze going and of course, um, a darkening shade here so you can get some sleep in the mornings. But really well thought out. Um, I'll have you look at the ceiling. There's some little hooks up here and there's a curtain that they um, provide so that you can have this area a little bit more um, private or dark um, so you can sleep a little cozier. I'll go put this bed up right now. And then I can show you the bathroom, which is a full-size bathroom in here. So these just click away real easy. All right, come on back into the bathroom. I wanted you to see how smart they did this. We, of course, have a um, highly efficient fan here. They work like an attic fan. Um, sucks all hot air and moisture out in about 20 seconds. They're very good. And then back in here, a really good sized shower with a sunroof, so um, taller people have no problem in this from my experience. You might notice that there's a, a pole here it pops out really easily. That's just to hang wet clothes or things like that. But you can, of course, take it out when it's time to shower. Another cool thing that Winnebago does is a self-cleaning shower door. So this rolls back in and it cleans itself off. So you don't have to worry about scraping it off to avoid mildew and such. Back here we have a nice blind. Of course, your toilet, medicine cabinet here, and plenty of storage underneath as well. One thing I love about Winnebago is that they don't finish under the sink, so that gives you all of this extra room that you can put more stuff. A really important thing that Navions have been featuring lately in the last couple years is the Truma AquaGo system. That's a continuous hot water system. So as much water as you've got, it can be hot. You don't have to worry about taking a six gallon shower and the next person being stuck with a cold shower, so that's really nice. Then in here, a deceptively large cabinet. So this cabinet here has a hanging place. It also goes all the way back to where my finger's touching. So that's a whole elbow worth more room of storage back there. This is also where they've stored your additional table. And I'll show you where that will go when we leave the room here.
We've got a really great privacy door here, pocket door. And I promised you I'd show you where that table went. It's right here at the foot of this sofa. So you have a, another place that people can sit and eat or use their computers or whatnot. And then we're magically in the kitchen. I didn't move, but we're there. <laughs> Over here, we've got these great pull-out shelves that Winnebago made. Love that. You can put all your canned goods or anything, really. It doesn't matter, whatever you choose. Down here, a little bit more storage. And then we have some power, um, your breaker box, and your winterization um, station there. Another thing I'll just note for those of you who are nervous or haven't had a motorhome before when you purchase from TransWest we do give you a full walkthrough and teach you how to use all the systems make sure that you're comfortable and send you out with um, resources to help you um, if you get in a pinch um, here's your refrigerator obviously beautiful stainless steel it's nice and deep and a really nice um, deep freezer here this is a Norcold um, very good reputation in the RV industry up here, this is your solar charge controller. So every Navion comes with 200 watts of ZAMP solar. So it's set up for that. We have a 2000 watt inverter. Uh, we also have two Deep Cycle Group 31 batteries. If you chose not to take this particular Navion, you can get um, the lithium batteries uh, you can choose to get a different generator. This one comes with a 3600 watt Onan Quiet uh, LP generator. So it's great. You can also choose to get the diesel generator, which would run off the fuel in the, in the cab. Over here is where you're going to check all your systems. How's my battery? Do I have enough water? This is also where you would turn on your generator, is on this little, they call it the one place. So it's a centralized place for all of those systems. And then here is where you would put your slide in and out. Now, I told you the slide is out right now. That slide goes all the way from this back bathroom, all the way to the front where the cab is. So it is huge. I've never seen one this big in another motorhome. They just really thought this out. Lots of room. But the other great thing about this is when the slide is in, you have plenty of room to walk to the refrigerator or the bathroom. Um, they made it with plenty of room to move around. There are times when you can't put your slide out for whatever reason. You're at a truck stop and it's really busy or you just don't want to put it out. It's nice that you're able to get to those things. Kind of the reason you have a motor home, right? You're not taking a trailer behind you and stopping on the side of the road and go into the bathroom and get in a snack. It's all in one. So really well thought out. Um, over here, they gave you options. On your cooktop, you've got a propane cooktop here and you've got an induction here. You can use them both at the same time, um, but it's nice if you're running low on propane or you don't wanna use up your battery, you can pick one or the other. Um, a lot of people ask me, why is there glass up here? That's just because the heat rising, we don't wanna hurt the cabinets, so it's just a protection. And up here we have lots more storage. And then I'll keep, I'll keep going with just storage. These drawers light up when you open them, and they're deep. Keep going, keep going. There we go. We have, of course, a convection microwave, so you can bake in there. And your TV and sound bar. That was an upgrade on this particular motorhome. But TV placement, again, it's right across from the theater seating and the couch. And then back behind here, we've got hookup if you wanted to add a satellite dish or anything like that. Blu-ray player in here and a paper towel holder and a little bit of storage. One more storage, and then I'll just stop talking about it. I'm sure you're tired of hearing it. Just kidding. Another upgrade in this Navion is the dual pane acrylic windows. These are really cool, just in their functionality alone. Um, you can put them kind of at whatever height you want them to stay, and they'll, um, so you could open them full, or you can open them just a little bit, 
But the great thing is that you can have these open while it's raining. Um, the other um, option is to have sliding windows. Those are also great, but these are just extra neat because of that ability to have them open no matter what the weather is. Um, then these are integrated screen and then a full darkening shade comes up like this and then they just clip in but I do want the light today so I'm going to leave it open but really well thought out it gives a really open feeling especially when you have them all open over here we've got a double sink with an extension sprayer so you can do your washing in one and your rinsing in another but again stainless steel really well thought out Another improvement in the last couple years in the Navion is the entry door. They used to rattle quite a bit, and I hate to say that, but it was fairly obvious when you'd go on a test drive. These are very quiet, and you might not even notice right now, I've had the engine running this whole time, and you don't really hear it. We're also right on the, um, right next to a very busy interstate here, I-25, and it's not noisy in here. So Winnebago did a great job insulating, but also this door makes a big difference in that. Um, it also has one of these darkening blinds. And a lot of people ask, where's the screen door? Well, it's integrated. So it comes across like this if you needed to get some fresh air in here. Really smart. Over here is your extra bed. So this is the cab over bed, they call it. I'll show you how this works real quick because it's pretty clever and easy to use and kids absolutely love it. And actually there's plenty of room for an adult as well. But up here, we've got a reading light. We've got USB ports. We've got plugins for electronics. And you could cozily sleep two people up here. It's probably the width of a full-size bed with a little curvature at the top, so it's not exactly. But up here, you might see a black container. That's darkening shades for the front cab. Over here, this is just a um, cover for the side window there, which does have a little bit of an air vent that you can open up. And there's also one at the back here, but it's covered right now. So really cozy, fun little place. And then once you get your ladder put away, say you don't have kids with you or extra people, this just flips right up. So you have this nice open airy space when you're driving. Love that. This is an, another place to put your extra table that we talked about. So you can put it there or here. And that comes in extra handy when you have your front seats turned around. They both turn around like I'm showing on this one side, but I wanted you to see the difference. Um, this one has a booster on it right now, and that's because the floor is a lot lower in the cab area, but that's what these little extra funny things are for. Over here, this is a really new and unique option, the theater seating. It's really great if you're not bringing extra people along. Um, if you chose not to have this, you would have a dinette that turns into a bed. But here we have the theater seats. We've got these great big tables. Now I left one in and one out so you could see um, one stored away. But these move around so you can really put them in a lot of different positions, really clever. And then I'll show you how this chair works here. So you could, of course, have your table here, but you've got a recliner that goes pretty far back and your TV is directly in front of you. So it's really comfortable, really nice. And then we've got, of course, cup holders here and a really deep place for storage. So I don't know if you wanna put your extra sodas and popcorn in here or remote controls. There's also USB charging ports in here. So pretty deep, really well thought out. And of course, seat belts on both of these seats. So if you had guests traveling with you, they can be nice and safe. In the cab area, I'm gonna grab my notes because I don't wanna leave anything out here. But of course, this is a Mercedes, so it's very high end. These drive like you wouldn't believe. Um, for people that are intimidated of the larger motorhomes, like a 45 foot or even a 40 foot, these drive like a high-end SUV. 
They also get the best gas mileage of any RV that I'm aware of, 16 to 20 miles per gallon. So that's awesome. Um, but they're also just really nice to drive. You have this um, function, it's, I don't wanna say the name, but if you say hey to the lady's name, she'll wake up and start talking to you. <laughs> and you can say navigate to the grocery store or Starbucks or whatever it is that you're trying to find and she will take you there. You can also say turn the volume down, etc. Of course, you can connect your phone. You also have a lot of functionality of the Mer Mercedes itself. And there she is, I said her name. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. Um, also up here, a little place to store your phones, tablets, and charge them as well. There's a charging station here. And of course, storage up in the front on both sides with cup holders. If you run out of cup holders in this, I don't know what to tell you. There's cup holders everywhere. Um, right here, we have the push, push button engine start and stop. This is also a newer feature um, in the last couple of years that your shifting is right here. So you can actually go into reverse um, without having to look away and get to your stick. It used to be on a stick over here and you kind of had to it was a little bit of a distraction, I'll just say. So now, when you just push up, you go into reverse and you'll notice my rear camera auto-populated. Now if you choose, you can have it on all the time while you're driving. Um, if you had something that you were towing or you just were nervous about people um, tailgating or whatever, you can have that camera on all the time if you choose. If you don't want that, it'll go to um, this one where you've got your navigation, radio, etc. So you also have all these smart things on your steering wheel here for your phone. Um, you can change this uh, setup here that you want to look at. What's my gas mileage? Um, you have adaptive cruise control here. Let me tell you all the things. I have them written down. So we've got a three liter, six cylinder, 188 horsepower turbo Mercedes here. And Please she repeat. wants to talk again. Um, active lane keeping assist, active braking assist, and they call it Distronic Plus, but it's, it's the adaptive cruise control. So it's gonna let you know if you're getting too close to somebody based on the speed that you're going at the time. Um, rain sensor with integrated wet wiper system, PowerPoint, um, USBs, just everything that you could ever want is in here, um, including um, electronic um, seats so you can push them back, up, down, you've got lumbar support, you've got heat on your seat here, really nice, power windows, power mirrors, this just really, it's luxurious. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the engine and then we can go outside and see some of the storage and features out there. <clears throat> One really important thing you're not going to see outside, but because it's under the cab, um, is this has the um, smart level um, levelers. So all the Navions now are coming with stabilizers so what that is is two little arms that you put down keeps you from rocking say if somebody's walking around in here or it's really windy out so that's going to keep you from rocking back and forth getting seasick while you're parked um, this is a different system completely these are actually levelers so say you can only park at an angle you're not going to have to get on blocks and drive back and forth and back and forth to get it so it's at a level um, these levelers there's four of them and they will lift you exactly to where you need to be. So you don't have to mess with that or put your back out when you get to the campsite. Really great feature. It is optional, but this one has it. On the outside here, I think they did a great job with not making 
the paint look obnoxious. It's just really well done, subtle. There is a really nice big awning here with um, LED lights. It's beautiful at night. I chose to leave it in today because it's been a little bit windy um, and snowy. So I'm just leaving that in. If you wanna see a picture of it, I'll get it for you. Um, down here, first storage bay. I love that they make these plastics so you can actually rinse them out. And then there's a little port where you could drain um, if you needed to rinse that out. They tend to get pretty icky. Um, over here is that LP generator I was telling you about. And this is a quick connect for propane. So if you wanted to bring a little propane grill along, you can connect that up really easily. A um, little bit more storage here. And then I wanted you to see this as well. So they put it everywhere they can find any extra space they're going to make storage for you, which is so helpful when you're camping. In the back, we have a nice uh, ladder so you can get up and check for debris, check your solar panels. Um, you need to do that about once a year anyway, just to make sure everything looks good up there. You didn't run under a tree or something. Up there, you'll see the backup camera that I showed you earlier. And then here we have a 5,000 pound towing hitch. Over here, we have your 30 amp cord it tucks away in this little place here. And also the place that you would put down your stabilizers here. And then your water system here with a little, um, you've got a little shower out here if you needed to rinse your feet off or rinse your kids off or your dogs off before you get back in. And then your dump station right there. We've also got a black waste flushing place. It helps keep it sanitary and not stinking. Then down here, way down here, you can see there's one more storage place and then we have your propane tank. Propane is huge on this one. It holds 53.75 uh, pounds there. Overall, good looking, very functional unit. I'm really excited that we have this available right now. If you have any questions, if you want more information, please get a hold of me. My name is Teresa Crawley. You can reach me at 303-684-3427. And again, this is stock number 5N210084, a 2021 Winnebago Navion 24D. Have a great day.